Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Got a random video for you guys today. A little bit of a video response to the Rad Austin 27. Uh, his channel link will be in the description as well as uh, the link to both of the videos that I'm going to be referencing kind of in this video. Uh, but the subject is kind of about doing YouTube for money and uh, kind of also the future of his, his channel and thoughts for uh, maybe suggestions for the future of his channel. But it's very relatable to myself because... Um, we kind of have the same kind of channels, I mean, really. And and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background b between the Rat Austin and myself. Look at that javelin fill right there. Pretty awesome way to start the game. Playing some Modern Warfare 3 uh, over this gameplay, and I believe this is a Moab fail um, using the Gold Scar. But uh, let's get into this. So basically, Rat Austin and myself, uh, he is a zombie channel like my, my own now. But before I actually was quote-unquote a zombie channel or started out as anything such I'm definitely more of the noob approach I mean I'm gonna I was a beginner to zombies I was not very good and I wanted to give tips and tricks for those people that were really horrible and then could try to get a little bit better at zombies and and so some of them were for uh, high round strategies as well for straight-up beginners as well as strategies for um, tutorial uh, or tutorials for unlocking achievements and stuff like that well some of those videos that I did ended up going viral and getting quite a few views in fact some of them have um, over a million views at this point at least one of them does and so I don't know how Rad Austin actually found my channel which is actually a good conversation point I would like to know how he actually found my channel but I think I remember him emailing me and giving me some tips or something like that about the channel um, regardless he was a really cool guy and like he was one of those people that like usually in a situation like that there there could be be fear of competition and I don't think he was he, he really took it as, as a uh, in a positive light that I was maybe because I didn't know if I was stepping on anybody's toes I didn't know anything about YouTube or anything about the YouTube community at that point and so maybe I was stepping on somebody's toes I really didn't know but he didn't take it like that he was very very positive about it and it was actually somebody that kind of um, as a younger guy he took me in and, and helped kind of mentor me a little bit about um, you know channels and and videos and stuff like that and and I didn't have a, um, a partner channel at that time I, I had not partner my channel till I had over 6,000 or 7,000 subscribers or something like that but he was telling me I could partner my channel probably earlier um, because a couple of my videos had quite a few views and and you know I didn't think I had the stuff I thought I had to have 10,000 subscribers before I could do anything so that was my goal to get maybe 10,000 subscribers and then try to partner my channel but but anyway, he was an overall really positive person, and I really enjoyed his content. He has re He's really good at zombies, and uh, in fact, he is the sole reason why uh, I was ever put in contact with Yodi Slayer, because Yodi Slayer knew who he was. He didn't necessarily know who I was, and uh, and I guess maybe uh, named through affiliation, uh, Yodi Slayer and myself uh, became uh, what I would consider YouTube friends. I mean, I was a, a friend on his friends list, and we played many times together. Uh, on uh, Call of Duty Zombies and then also on um, some Modern Warfare 2 a little bit as well. I never got a chance to play Borderlands with him though, man. I was quite a bummer. But anyway, yeah, it's quite sad what what uh, what happened at Yodi Slayer. It actually still is something I, I think about quite frequently and I probably shouldn't dwell on some of those things. But it's just a sad, tragic situation. But but I have, honestly, I, for that connection, I have um, I have the Rat Austin to thank for that. And he's, he's one of those people that, uh, again, has just been a stand-up guy in the community. Now, uh, segueing a little bit, his channel has been zombies like, kind of like what mine has, but like some, somewhat the same videos, but his are definitely a lot more storyline oriented. If you guys want to know anything about the zombie storyline or, um, like just watch his videos. Also, he, he just has a lot of really like more high level uh, videos. Mine would be, I guess, novice, beginner, his are, um, you know, intermediate, advanced, if, if you will. So, but, uh, but it's definitely a dude that I've respected and stuff. But unfortunately, the problem that we've seen, or it's not a problem, but it's I guess it's it's comes with the territory. Uh, we've done this zombie thing for a while now. I've started this since um, Call of the Dead when I first got my recording device, and then I started recording Call of the Dead. Um, and he, he's started this way before that even. So, But the problem is it kind of pigeonholes us because we have this type of a channel where it's it's we're known as more or less a zombie channel so when we post a zombie video and he mentioned this in his video in, in the description he posts a, he posts a zombie video and it might get uh, you know five six thousand views the next day he posts a regular video about something else and it might get maybe four to six eight hundred views the next day and and I can totally relate to that feeling because it, it, it doesn't make you feel um, super I don't know how to describe it. it doesn't make you feel super great knowing that you're putting out the same amount of 
uh, effort into a video that you probably won't get any recognition for. And and sometimes it doesn't matter. I mean, if you need recognition or not, it's not about necessarily recognition. But at the same time, you want to feel like you're putting out videos uh, for a purpose. And I think that we're kind of stuck in that hole right now because zombies is over with at this point. Call of Duty Ghost is here. We have another year before we get another maybe a Treyarch game. We don't even know what it's going to be. We don't know if there's going to be any more zombies since the storyline's kind of closed up. Like, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, but uh, zombies is only like every other year sort of thing, and, and it's not something that I want my channel only to be zombies, and I'm sure he's kind of stuck in the same situation. So I guess uh, I don't have the advice that... Look at this spawns right here. So bad. But uh, I don't have the advice for... Rad Austin to try to figure out how to um, do other things with his channel. Uh, the only thing I can say is that I've started since then my zombie channel, I mean, this channel you're watching, my Call of Duty channel mainly. Um, I've definitely started branching out into other games, and like Borderlands 2 had got me some decent views here and there. And, and more importantly, it's just fun. Playing different games is a lot of fun. So uh, that's something I would recommend to him is maybe playing some different games and just finding something that he likes to play and have fun with it. I also started a Let's Play channel as well, and it, Let's Play channels are, are really difficult because sometimes, um, I mean, you post videos. I posted over 600 videos on that channel, and I have 6,000-something subscribers on it now, and I just I barely, um, I just reached over a little over a million views on that channel, which is crazy because I can't even imagine it has a million views on it. I just got a couple random viral videos, but, um, but it's really hard to... To have a channel and and if you don't have like a format, it makes it really difficult to try to figure out the best way to uh, to reach an audience on a regular basis. Now, the other thing is I started my sneaker channel, and it's interesting to see the dynamic. My sneaker channel gets way more daily views. I posted a video yesterday. I get 30, 3,800. I mean, honestly, between anywhere from 2,000 to 8,000 views the next day on a video. But on my gaming channel, which has way more subscribers, 59,000 or something like that, uh, this channel um, maybe get uh, maybe a thousand if I'm lucky, maybe 2,500 the next day or something like that if I'm if I'm lucky on a video. Which honestly, I think that one thing that we both have in common is, yeah, it's great to have money off of it. I have a regular job. I have other jobs. I make money other ways. For me, he's a college student. Uh, is it the end of the world if we don't get money? No. Do we? Does it, is it helpful to get paid for, for the videos? Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, but it's not the end-all, be-all. I, I think that it's it's going to be important um, for, for channels like mine and his to just keep moving forward, maybe evolve a little bit, and try to find a format. I think that's important for my channel. I know that I'm stuck in this rut as well, as I've been mentioning to you guys the last couple days. I'm stuck in this rut of... Look at this. I, I ended up dying from this guy. The guy was hiding from uh, using that rocket. But... Um, but yeah, it's finding a format is going to be important and something that might include like zombies once a week, but have other things that are there. Obviously, I do the Minecraft on Sundays and I do uh, Tactical Nuke Tuesdays on Tuesdays, but really those only generate a couple thousand views, which isn't a ton. Um, but I still have fun doing those. There has to be something that we can do to help us generate views and gain more exposure. And that's the hardest part in YouTube right now because there's a lot of larger YouTubers that are doing things to just monopolize. Uh, everything and it's quite frustrating when you have channels that are not zombie channels and, and they they get the game two weeks early and then they cover everything in zombies all the new beginning things that I would have covered they cover everything and they cover it all so before you even get a chance to cover it um, it's already published and 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 they're already making money off of it and then they get I mean it, it just gives it makes it really difficult it's like real life the rich get richer the poor get poor and it's really hard to, to get out of the middle class area so I do feel fortunate where my my position is currently in YouTube, um, I'm looking to hopefully grow. But if my channel doesn't grow, I'm it's, I'm neither here nor there there on it. I mean, I'm having fun with it, and that's the most important part. Whenever I stop having fun uh, with YouTube, then I'll stop doing it. And uh, I'm not trying to make a career path out of this for myself. And and I advise you guys to to follow suit with that. Don't try to take uh, these larger channels and make a channel like theirs and then try to make something you can try to potentially retire off of. YouTube can go away tomorrow. With all the copyright stuff that we've been seeing, we never know what when uh, we're going to get like just totally screwed out of getting paid any money at all and having other people take the, the larger uh, piece of the plot. And I mean, really, like, what what can we expect? You should be able to have a regular job, get your college education, and then, uh, and, and then go from there. But uh, anyway, check out Rad Austin's channel. I, I didn't really touch up as much as on on this as I wanted to. 
uh, about uh, the discussions. But check out his channel. Check out the videos that he was mentioning. And uh, definitely a respectable guy. And uh, this is pretty much the end of this video. So just kind of a little ramble from, from me today. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. I'm trying to bring you a little bit more personal videos in the last couple days. Um, not not so much. I mean, I guess I'm just bring, bring, bringing a, just a different variety of videos. But enjoy nonetheless if you guys did. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace.